Okay, let's talk about like terms. And uh, this is an essential topic in algebra. You can really start learning about like terms early on in middle school, uh, maybe even early in elementary school, certainly in pre-algebra. But this is absolutely critical uh, when you're working with variables. It's the foundation of learning algebra and beyond. Okay, so what we're going to do here is just do a quick review of uh, like terms and hopefully this will clear up any confusion you might have on the topic. Uh, but before we get uh, going, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabla Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher and over several years have constructed many, many online math courses, full, complete, comprehensive math courses. So if you're in middle school, high school, or beyond, now I'm going to leave a link to my math learning program program in the description of this video. So if you like my teaching style and you want my most comprehensive work, you'll want to go ahead and check out my program. Um, also, I've been on YouTube for several years, uh, so hopefully you'll check out more of the videos on my channel. I have hundreds of math videos that uh, can definitely help you out. And hopefully you'll become a subscriber as I'm posting new stuff all the time. And if this video helps you out, please consider smashing that like button. Okay, so let's get into like terms. So you can see here I have 2x, 5x, 3xy, 4y. These are all examples of terms, okay? So we have this word terms, and we're specifically talking about like terms. When do two terms like one another, <laughs> if you will? All right, so let's get into this uh, by first answering the question, hey, what is a term, okay? What is a term? We know what a term looks like, right? These are like terms, okay? So you could probably say, yeah, this these are terms in algebra, but really what makes up a term? Okay, we kind of want to answer that question uh, first. So here is an example of an algebraic term, all right? So uh, for the most part, what makes up a term in algebra? It's kind of like the building block here of algebra. Um, so this would be one term, okay? This is not multiple terms, this is just one term. And a term has a variable, okay? It can be any variable. In this case, we're using x, but it could be y, it could be z, it doesn't make a difference. And then you're gonna have a number in front of that variable, okay? So if I have just x squared, you still have a number, that's one, okay? So here's our variable x. And here is our number one. And the number that's in front of the variable we call the coefficient. So it's important that you understand that. If I try to write that uh, down, I'm, look, I'm good at math. I am terrible at spelling. So I'm not even going to try to write coefficient because I'm sure I will uh, mess up the spelling <laughs> to it. But nevertheless, I could still say the word. So three is what we call the coefficient. It's the value, the number in front of the variable part here. And then here this variable is to some power, okay? This little two is what we call the exponent, okay? So this is this essentially makes up a term, okay? So here one is the coefficient, x is uh, our variable, and then two is our um, uh, exponent, all right? So let's just take a look at something else. We could have, let's say, negative five x uh, z cubed, all right? This is an example of another term, okay? So here is our coefficient, negative five, and this has two variables, an x and a z uh, cubed, all right? This is x to the first. So uh, terms can be, you know, uh, very fancy looking. It could be, this could be a decimal value or a fractional value. You can have all kinds of different uh, variables, but the whole idea is these are just one package kind of little, uh, building blocks of uh, variable expressions in algebra, okay? So that's this whole idea of a term, and we need to understand that uh, because when we start figuring out what are like terms, what are not like terms, uh, we need to understand, of course, what one a single term is. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a look at this basic term, okay, 3x squared. And let's go ahead and um, understand what terms would be like to this term and what would not be like. All right, so I'm going to write down two, all right? Uh, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to write down a term here that's like to this term. And then I'm going to write one that's not like, okay? So 
Let's take a look at each. So what do you think this is like and this is not like? So I'm not tricking you, okay? 3x is not like to 3x squared. 5x squared is uh, a like term to 3x squared. Now, why is that? All right, so hopefully you're like, hmm, you're, you're picking out the patterns here. Well, the main thing is this. What makes something a like term is it has the exact same variable, okay, and power as the term, okay, you're comparing it to, right? These have to be exactly the same. So if you look here, this is 3x. It looks very similar, 3x, but this is only 3x to the first. We need 3x squared. So if these components of a term, when you're comparing two terms, are the same, okay, then they are like, right? Very, very critical. So let's go ahead and just write some other like terms down here. You can have uh, negative 0.08x squared, all right? That is a like term to this, all right? And let's write another one that is not like, how about uh, 3x uh, cubed, okay? So again, very, very close, but not uh, not like. All right, now let's write down some other examples, uh, uh, things that are not like. What, about, what if I had 3x squared y? Let me just erase this here. 3x squared y. So here I have a term, and here is my other term, 3x squared. You're like, oh, okay, this has the x squared part, so it must be like. Nope, that's not the case, okay? It has to be this whole variable part, whatever it is, has to be uh, totally 100% match what your uh, whatever term you're comparing it to, okay? So this has x squared y. This only has x squared. So again, this is not like, okay? So hopefully you understand the difference now between like and not like. It's not that complicated, okay? Don't make it any more complicated than it has to be. Just remember, the variable and the power have to be 100% perfectly uh, the same, okay? Not close, the app, the 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 same. All right. So I think I kind of stress that enough. So now let's get to reason. the reason why we want to know whether terms are uh, like or not. Okay. Well, let's take a look at an example. Okay. Something like this. 3x squared plus 5x squared. All right. So in algebra, all right, we like to simplify things. So I have 3x squared plus 5x squared. So what I want to know is, can I simplify this? Can I write this in a simpler manner? Well, you can. I'm going to just bring this down a little bit. You can if these terms, I have one term here and I have another term here. If they are like terms, okay, and in this case we know they are because they both have x squared, if they are precisely uh, like, okay, then you can add the coefficients. And again, those numbers that are in front of the variable parts here, you can add them together. That's three and five. That would be eight. And then I just go ahead and put my x squared like so. Okay, so you can add terms that are like. So when you have like terms, you want to add them up. You can also subtract them as well. So when we're dealing with like terms, we're talking about adding and subtracting, not multiplying or dividing, simply adding or subtracting. So what about this situation? What if I had 3x squared minus uh, 5x squared? Can you figure that out? All right, so hopefully you're like, oh, that's a negative 5x squared, so 3 and negative 5 or 3 plus negative 5 is going to be a negative 2, so that would be negative 2x squared, okay? And that would be the answer. Okay, so this is why we want to know whether terms are like or not. And it can be very deceiving when you're first learning algebra because let's take a look at this situation. All right, so if I kind of gave you this problem, and of course your teachers are going to give you a problem, and it's not going to say you know, hey, are these like terms? Add them up if they are. It's just going to be, hey, simplify this problem, okay? And you might be, oh, 3x squared, this has x, this has x. No, well, you can't add these up because these terms, 
this term and these term, uh, this term here, these are not like. Okay, so this the way it is is as simple as it gets. Right, three x squared plus five x is as simple as this expression gets because these are not like. We can't add these terms up. Okay, so I really don't want to go uh, further than this because really at this point what you need is a lot of practice, a lot of variation. So um, again, don't get complacent in terms of learning algebra by understanding a couple basic examples. This one, the probably the number one mistake that students make. They're like, oh yeah, I get the concepts. Easy, easy. I got it. I got it. I got it. If I had a nickel for every time I heard, I got it. I got it. I got it uh, from students. And then he went on to make a ton of uh, problems. I'd be a uh, uber wealthy person, right? I've probably heard that like a million times. And I'm sure I said it as a kid as well. You know, you're, you're excited. You're like, oh, I get the concept. And, you know, I, people are just are excited and they think they know. But the problem is this. When math, just because you understand the fundamental concept, you have to apply that and you have to practice. OK, so make sure you get plenty of practice, very, all different types of variations of problems if you want you know, more examples from me, if you definitely want to check out one of my uh, uh, math courses, I would recommend my, 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 my pre-algebra, algebra one math course, because this is where you're typically learning it. So, you know, by the time you get to more advanced math, you should already have this down as a concept. But, um, but anyways, like terms, absolutely essential in terms of understanding algebra and how to work with variables. And hopefully this video uh, cleared up any confusion you may uh, had about the topic. All right. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventure. Thank you for your time and have a great day.